On a political note now, the United Democratic Alliance has assured aspirants seeking to fly the party's flag of a free and fair nomination process. The party's National Election Board Vice Chairperson Omi Bashir, who spoke in Garissa, said there will be no direct tickets. United Democratic Alliance has allayed fears that the party primaries will not be free and fair. Our nominations will be free and fair. And uh, in an instance where, as we all know, Northeastern has a tendency of settling for negotiated democracy, um, as a party, as long as there is only one aspirant contesting for a particular ward or constituency or county, we shall not have primaries. But in an instance where there are two or more candidates, I mean aspirants, then definitely we shall go for primaries. UDA National Elections Body Vice Chairperson says all aspirants are equal in the eyes of the party. We as a board are treating all um, aspirants as equal. Whether you're an incumbent or you are aspiring to be a particular leader in a particular constituency, ward or county, they are all equal. There is no favoured candidate, there is no preferable um, candidate from the party leader. Meanwhile, a section of youths allied to the ODM wing of the Zimiola Umoja coalition have defended Sunnah East MP Junet Muhammad over his remarks that seem to discredit the performance of former Petroleum and Mining Cabinet Secretary John Munez. Munez is eyeing the Trukana gubernatorial position under the Azimiola Umoja coalition. What Honorable Junet tried to say was that Trukana County deserves a better leadership. Some people went and misquoted him to mean that uh, he meant uh, that alikuwa another row leadership ya Trukana. Azimio as a coalition has a responsibility of making sure that the party ticket or rather the flag bearer of the Azimio coalition is going to be a leader that is tested, that is proven to be having a track record. The youth led by former Trukana University Student Association leader Dominic Lotam claims UNED's remarks were taken out of context and his remarks did not in any way undermine the unity of Azimio Laumoja. Jelis Aladi for Lunchtime News.